The biggest driver of variation of backscatter across the Earth's surface is the liquid water content. When the liquid water content changes in soils, we can see that as a change in backscatter and we can use that to estimate variations in soil moisture. In vegetation, variations in the liquid moisture content also has an influence on the backscatter. Plants that are drying out and have a low water content within the leaves will have less backscatter than very healthy plants that have got lots of water inside the leaves. It's also the case that liquid water on the surface of leaves can have an influence on backscatter. This can even be seen in diurnal effects, where in the morning, if there is dew on the vegetation, that will increase the backscatter compared to the same area measured later in the day when the dew has all evaporated. The moisture content of vegetation also has an impact on how much energy is lost or attenuated as it travels through a vegetation canopy. So the moisture content of vegetation actually has a big influence on what we see in a radar image. Vegetation can have a significant impact on what we see in a radar image. It's one of the key challenges in terms of measuring soil moisture is that if you have wet soil, typically you have vegetation above it. When you add vegetation to the top of the surface, it increases the backscatter that we get in the radar image. The more vegetation that we add, typically the more backscatter we get. 